Welcome to the Mahaffey Group Tour. Say hi, everybody. Hey. Hey. All right, we'll try to answer some questions about the upcoming 2020 market. I can't believe it's the year 2020 already up on us. What uh, you can expect if you're going to buy or sell a house this year. Woohoo! originally listed at 875 and have since dropped to 825. Um, I think a good takeaway there is whenever you're on a busy street like that, it's important to be a little bit more aggressive with price because you're going to linger longer if you are at a higher price. I guess a couple things. One would be make sure you don't have any smells in the house. The smells will turn buyers off. And then two would be make sure you have the heat up. So nothing worse than a buyer going in and, and pulling their hoodie up to stay warm. So. Get rid of the smells and have the heat on. A couple, go a couple good seller tips. I thought that was a great one. I love the layout. Um, I love the cup, of the covered patio in the back for barbecue and staying dry in the winter time. It, it needs updating, but I thought it was it was a great home, great value. Whole row of houses on this particular street. Each one of them is immaculate, and this is where you kind of see that a neighborhood can can elevate a good house and make it an extraordinary house. Dia, is there anything you would like to add as far as the presentation? Keeping it clean, um, making sure that it's show ready every day. <music> Nick, we'll have you tell us what uh, you think 2020 is going to look like for buyers, and then we'll follow up with Matt telling us what 2020 is going to look like for sellers. Interesting thing coming up in 2020, the market has slowed down over the last couple of years, so we're, we're seeing a little bit less in appreciation, looking at you know 2 to 3% overall market appreciation. That's going to be higher at the bottom end, a little bit lower at the top. Um, I bring that up in because there's there's people using the R word out there with a little bit of, of scare to them and that scared a few buyers away. I actually think there's a lot of opportunity in 2020 in that interest rates are on the decline again. And as we saw in 2017, you can gain twenty to thirty thousand dollars in buying power if the interest rate drops a quarter to a half a percent. So if we actually see interest rates go down to 3.75 or 3.5, that means houses are essentially on sale from a monthly payment standpoint. Um, if that happens, I think it's a great time to buy, especially if other people are a little bit skittish. I would much rather buy on the way down in a little bit of a recession than buy when the market is super heated. I think 2020 is going to be a great year. We're not going to have lots of crazy bidding. It's not going to. We're not going to see lots of stuff going way over asking, but we're going to see stuff selling. selling. It's a good market. Um, buyers want to be here in Portland. I think if a seller is realistic and has a house that looks good and is priced well, it's going to sell and, it's going to, and they can, can get on with their life and do, get to that next phase, whatever that is. So I think people that are wanting to um, purchase are going to have a great time of finding some, some good homes at a, at a price that you know seems more affordable to them. But at the same time, I feel like uh, sellers are going to be happy because, you know, the market is not, it's just evened out. We haven't really dropped enough mm -hmm. to make it feel scary to people, like they're going to be losing money. They're still getting good values for the home. So I think it's going to be a good year for real estate. I agree.